The following is another example where we're going to practice differentiating trigonometric functions. Like many of the examples we've seen, the key here is making sure we get the order right for the chain rule. The chain rule starts from the outside and works its way in. So the outside function here is the 3. We'll do that first. Then we'll differentiate this part, which remained the same. We'll take the derivative of the 1. Then we'll differentiate this negative cosecant squared, 3x. Again, the chain rule, the order is very important. The 2 is the outside function. Everything will stay the same. Then the trig function, the argument stays the same. Then the argument. So making sure you use the chain rule in the correct order is what will help you get these questions right. Also, of course, we have a cosecant here, so we're going to have to use the derivative of cosecant. So make sure you're working on memorizing these rules, because of course these won't be given when you are assessed on this section. So finding the derivative then means starting with the outside function, so 3 comes down, bracket stays the same, the 3 then becomes a 2. Now we work on the inside. So the derivative of 1 is 0 minus, now we're working on this part. We start with the 2, the trig function and the argument stay the same. Multiplied by, now we use the trig function. Cosecant is negative cosecant 3x cotan 3x. Notice the argument stayed the same. And that then is multiplied by the derivative of 3x, which is 3. So the key is making sure you just do one step at a time, work from the outside in, one derivative each step. To simplify then, we don't need the 0. We can put the negative and the negative together, that'll be positive. Notice all of this is multiplied together, so we can also multiply that with 3. So simplify here then, we end up with 2 times 3 times 3, which is 18. We have cosecant 3x, cosecant 3x, so that'll be cosecant squared of 3x. The negative and negative gave us positive, so that's why that's gone. We have a cotan of 3x. And then all that's left is this part in brackets. 1 minus cosecant squared of 3x. Like I mentioned in class, when we're simplifying these, we're looking for obvious simplifications. We're not going to worry about using trig identities to make this easier. We just want to make sure we get the parts of the derivative right.